guys, welcome back to All Things Nani, where I create videos about the things that I enjoy, lifestyle, luxury, and travel. Welcome back. I have been gone for quite some time. I just checked this morning and it's been 246 days since I posted my last video. I said I wasn't going to come on here and give an explanation of where I've been and why I haven't been posting because obviously it doesn't really matter. But just to summarize it, I just wasn't feeling just being on the internet. I don't know. I just went through a phase where I didn't post on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, like anything like that. I don't post on TikTok that much anyway, but I was just in a funk and just didn't want to be on Beyonce's internet posting myself. I now feel that I am out of that funk, so hopefully I will be back to posting videos on a regular basis. I'm not going to make any promises. I'm doing the best that I can, just as we all are. But I'm back today because I have a special unboxing that I wanted to share with you guys. During the time that I've been gone, of course, I'm a shopaholic, so I still have been buying things. And there were many times where I was like, oh, this would be a great unboxing, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So maybe I'll do reviews on those things because I know if anyone else out there is like me, Anytime I'm about to make a big purchase, I go to YouTube to see other people's reviews, see what they think of the items and whether or not it would be worth my money before I actually purchase it and, you know, try it out for myself. So maybe I'll, you know, do some reviews on those things. I even went on trips like during the time that I didn't post and I vlogged them and just never edited them to post. Maybe I still will one day, but... I was just in a funk. So anyway, I hope everybody's been good. I hope I still have subscribers out there that are interested in seeing my content and hopefully I will be fully back into the swing of things and posting on a regular basis. But let's get into what we are really here for. So the reason that I even have this purchase is because I am turning 40 in a couple of weeks and there was a release of this item, uh, a new collection that I was just like, I have to get my hands on this. So I ended up ordering it the day that it was released because I was worried that it might be sold out. So even though it's my birthday is not for a few weeks, I ended up getting it delivered to me yesterday and I'm gonna unbox it and show it to you guys. This is a little gift from myself to myself. So I hope you like it. Ugh, if I can get it out. You know, the infamous green box that we all love so much, or maybe just some of us do. Oh, so before I open it, I wanna tell you like how I even came to find out that this was being released. So I was watching a video that Cassie Thorpe posted and it was sort of, I don't wanna say negative, but just talking about Van Cleef and Arpels and the hype around it and other jewelry that you know, would be a better investment, you know, if you're not into things that could be trendy or if you just don't like Van Cleef. And so she had mentioned this Instagram page that had posted that Van Cleef was releasing a new collection on September 2nd. And I immediately went to that page and was like, oh, this is exactly what I need. So even though I watched her video and I was kind of like, well, I still like Van Cleef. I like their pieces. And this is something that I actually had been wanting, but it wasn't made at the time. I wanted it for a couple years, but it wasn't readily available what i have since learned is that you can do special custom orders with van cleef you have to pay a premium which i was not willing to do or i'm not willing to, i didn't know you could do it but also i would have been willing to pay extra for it. i didn't need it that bad but now that it is something that is available i wanted to get my hands on it so i ended up texting an essay that i had worked with in the past at the boutique that's closest to my house i texted her and i said hey i saw that online that this you know new collection could potentially be released on September 2nd is that true and what do I need to do so that I can get one she was like yes it's true she put me on the list to have one reserved and that's how I ended up you know getting this so let's get into it all right this is obviously not that easy to do so here we have obviously your book with all your information on your item. It doesn't look like they gave me any extras, which if you watch any of my other videos, you know I enjoy a little something something for making such a significant person send me some chocolates or something. I'm kind of like sad because I didn't go into the boutique and I could at least got like a glass of champagne or something, <laughs> but it is what it is. I didn't feel like driving there and... 
so I just ordered over the phone. She texted me yesterday and asked me, like, did I want to come in and see anything else? But I was like, girl, like, this is enough. If I have, like, any issues with it, like, once I open it and look at it, maybe I'll come up there. But it's a no for me for right now. So just, like, their certificate, hair, services, things like that. Receipt. Yeah, blank card. I guess had I said that it was a gift, I could have wrote a little nice message to myself. But it is what it is that's all of that let's get into the main attraction oh they sent me a little bag it'll just go with the rest of my <laughs> i keep all of the boxes in bags and it's taking over my closet i should just like throw them away but i don't know if there if you guys like keep your things and there's like a better use for them or something i don't know let me know here she is is that the right side yeah okay this is so cute. I love the bow and everything, but let's, oh, you can take that out too. I don't want to do all that. Let's see. Oh, this is like really, okay. Here it is. All that for this tiny thing. I want to, I hate, un, I hate like messing up packaging or even like undoing ribbons. It really bothers me but here we go opening it up just on one side and i'm gonna slide it out they could have sent me a book something i'm kind of disappointed this doesn't matter this is literally just white paper could this be an asmr ah! all righty the box okay <laughs> it is gorgeous oh my gosh and i don't even like because i've been watching a lot of tiktoks lately and so i watch other people's unboxings and i don't like when they were like oh my gosh like it's so amazing she is but no this is for real this is amazing like more than i could have expected so obviously this is the vintage alhambra necklace it's in the blue a gate with the yellow gold and it matches my bracelet so that was the reason that i wanted it i've had this bracelet for maybe two years now and so i was like i really just want the necklace to match i've always like had it on my mind but like i said i didn't think that they made it and didn't know that you could custom order it not that i would have but the fact that they released it i'm so excited so they came out with this particular collection like i said it was released on september 2nd they came out with the earrings the necklace and i believe a ring um all with this stone oh my gosh it is so pretty so it has multiple holes so you can wear it you know make it longer or shorter I think I'm going to wear it on the longer, whoops, the longer setting. Of course, I'm going to struggle. I knew that was going to happen. Struggle on camera to try to get this on. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it doesn't move like the other one. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. Like, way more than I expected. I hopefully like, like I said, I haven't recorded a video in 246 days. So I, I'm like worried that my setup might not even be that great. Like I'm trying to remember like what I used to do, but hopefully you can see how everything looks. So there's the bracelet. What I did see online is that each of these stones sort of varies in the color. So these two might not even be like same blue. They were saying that if the necklace turned out like to not be the blue that I wanted it to be, you could go into the boutique and they will show you multiple, you know, necklaces with this color and you pick which one you like the best. So I need to, I guess, put them side by side at, I guess, after I'm done recording just to make sure I like the way they look together. But so far, I am very happy with the way that it looks. I've never tried on the vintage alhambra necklace any of them so i wasn't sure if i would feel that you know it was too big obviously it's not the magic but i don't know i'm just like i'm so used to the sweet size because i have the sweet which i actually have with me so i wanted to see how they layer 
So I have the carnelian stone in the sweet size. And so I wear that every day. I just took it off like the last two days. I just like didn't feel like wearing any jewelry. But my hope was that these would look good like layered together. So let's give that a try. So this one also has like the multiple holes. So I want to put it on the shorter one so that they like hang together nicely. That was perfect. Um... Why am I not? I thought I don't know why I thought it would look different, but I have to play around with it. So immediately I noticed that. Hopefully you guys can see this. What is sticking out to me about this is that the sweet necklace, the this the motif moves around. This one does not, so it is stuck to its spot. Also, I like to mix and match my golds. I am a gold girly. I don't mind that my sweet is in the rose gold color and the vintage is yellow gold typically anyway i wear my bracelets together so i have this in the sweet size as well this bracelet in the sweet size and i usually wear these two together anyway so i thought i'd be fine wearing the necklaces together as well anyway so here's like what the bracelets look like together and then the necklaces so I don't know let me know if you think like obviously all I could think about is like red white and blue with having like the red and the blue stones but I think it looks cute I have to go look in the mirror and like see how I feel about it but even if I don't wear them wear them together I can wear them separately and I really like the colors I think it's so unique and just such a pretty stone and not as delicate as some of the other like the mother of pearl and some of the other stones so I don't wear my blue agate bracelet every day I wear it like to you know if I'm going out and things like that so I feel like that would be the same with the necklace it's not going to be an everyday piece for me but I am excited to have it but anyway having been on the earth for 40 years I'm really proud of myself everything that I've done with my life and overcome and you know the life that I have now so that's why I always treat myself to little things i hope everybody is doing well i've missed you guys i'm happy to be back and hopefully i will continue with my posting <laughs> let me know if you guys have any questions about any of these these things i'll insert a screenshot from the website that gives you the details of the necklace and if you are interested in buying it it has a button that you can click to call an advisor i think see if it's available or help you purchase it so you can't just buy it online but the details should be on the screen so thanks for watching i will see you guys next time bye make sure to like comment and subscribe to my mom's youtube channel and don't forget to hit those bell notifications